Have you ever heard about the unsinkable fleet of the Canadian Navy? They sail in the icy waters of the North and are currently joining forces with the United States Navy to safeguard the Red Sea. During their missions, they encounter monstrous waves. But why don't the ships of the Canadian Navy sink? This video delves into the realm of steel titans that brave the rough seas, spanning from the vast coastlines to the frozen depths of the Arctic. Are you ready to uncover how these vessels, equipped with courage and technology, withstand the forces of nature? So what is it that makes these ships so tough? The ocean is a force of nature, capable of both breathtaking beauty and terrifying wrath. For ships that steer through its ever-shifting surface, resilience becomes a critical virtue. This is especially true for the Canadian Navy, whose vessels brave the icy grip of the Arctic the tumultuous Atlantic swells, and the churning Pacific waves. To survive such diverse and demanding environments, these ships boast a construction philosophy that prioritizes uncompromising strength and adaptability. At the heart of this philosophy lies the imposing hull, the first line of defense against the ocean's onslaught. Gone are the days of wooden ships. Modern Canadian Navy vessels are forged from high-grade steel, thoughtfully chosen for its tensile strength and resistance to corrosion. This robust material forms the backbone of the ship, providing a solid foundation that can withstand the pounding of waves and the shuddering impact of collisions. But strength alone is not enough. The ocean attacks not with brute force alone, but with cunning, seeking to exploit any weakness. To counter this, the Canadian Navy ships employ compartmentalized designs, Imagine the hull not as a single entity, but as a series of interconnected watertight compartments. If one compartment is breached, the water is contained, preventing it from spreading and jeopardizing the entire ship's buoyancy. This modular approach minimizes the risk of catastrophic sinking, allowing the crew's precious time to assess damage and initiate repairs. However, the battle against the ocean doesn't end with a strong hull and clever compartmentalization. The forces of nature are relentless, and they seek to bend and break even the sturdiest vessel. To combat this, Canadian Navy ships incorporate cutting-edge composite materials alongside the steel. These advanced materials, often blends of fibers and resins, offer exceptional flexibility and resilience. They can absorb and redistribute stress, preventing the hull from buckling under immense pressure. Think of it as a built-in shock absorber guarding against the ocean's crushing grip. But the robustness of the Canadian Navy ships goes beyond the physical. It extends to their internal architecture. Structural elements are carefully designed and positioned to maximize stability. Keels, fins extending from the hull, act as counterweights, dampening the ship's rolling motions in rough seas. Ballast tanks, strategically filled and emptied, adjust the center of gravity, ensuring the ship remains upright even in turbulent conditions. It's a perfect combination of weight and balance played out within the ship's steel heart to keep it steady against the ocean's unpredictable sway. Ultimately, the robust construction of Canadian Navy ships is a shield against the storm, a promise of safety for the brave sailors who call these vessels home. From the icy Arctic to the sun-drenched Pacific, these ships stand firm against the fury, safeguarding Canada's interests and reminding us that even in the face of nature's fury, human resilience can still prevail. But how can a ship this big even manage to be stable enough to sail and not be swallowed by oceanic monster waves? A ship gliding gracefully across the waves, defying the whims of the ocean, showcases the ingenuity of naval architects. But beneath the surface, a silent battle is being waged against the forces of nature. This battle is for stability, the lifeblood of any vessel, and it's fought with a hidden arsenal of features meticulously designed to keep the ship upright and on course. One of the most prominent weapons in this arsenal are the bilge keels, unassuming protrusions along the hull that act like miniature fins. As the ship rolls with the waves, these keels create drag in the water resisting the motion and dampening the roll. Imagine them as tiny underwater hands, pushing back against the waves' unwanted advances. But stability isn't about just countering immediate forces. It's also a delicate dance with the ship's center of gravity, 
its fulcrum of balance. This is where ballast tanks come into play. These tanks, strategically placed within the hull, can be filled or emptied with water to shift the ship's weight, lowering its center of gravity and making it less prone to tipping. Think of them as ballast bags on a seesaw, strategically placed to keep the seesaw level no matter how many people sit on either side. But stability isn't just about external features and adjustments. The very design of the ship itself plays a crucial role. A low center of gravity, achieved by placing heavy machinery and cargo lower in the hull, acts like a built-in stabilizer, reducing the leverage waves have on the ship. A wide beam, the horizontal distance across the ship provides a broader platform, making it less likely to tilt over. And a deep draft, the vertical distance between the waterline and the lowest point of the hull, creates a deeper keel, offering greater resistance to rolling motions. The interplay of these design elements is further enhanced by the rudder design. A well-designed rudder not only steers the ship, but also influences its stability. By adjusting the angle of the rudder, the captain can create counteracting forces to dampen rolling and improve maneuverability, especially in rough seas. And for those moments when even the combined might of these passive features isn't enough, some ships employ fin stabilizers. These retractable fins extend from the hull and act like underwater wings, actively generating forces to counteract rolling motions. Imagine them as tiny underwater jets, constantly adjusting their thrust to keep the ship steady. In conclusion, the stability of a ship is a carefully crafted equilibrium achieved through a multitude of ingenious features. From the unassuming bilge keels to the ever-shifting ballast tanks, from the inherent stability of the ship's design to the active intervention of fin stabilizers, naval architects have woven a web of resilience that allows these majestic vessels to dance atop the waves, defying the ocean's fury with silent grace. The relentless ocean demands respect, and for the Canadian Navy, navigating its vast expanse requires not just bravery and skill, but the unwavering support of cutting-edge technology. Gone are the days of relying solely on sextants and intuition. Modern Canadian warships hum with sophisticated sensors and computer systems, transforming them into intelligent vessels capable of anticipating danger and adapting to its whims. A network of sensors acts as the ship's ever-vigilant eyes. Radar paints a detailed picture of the surrounding surface, while sonar probes the murky depths, searching for lurking threats and charting the treacherous ocean floor. Wind speed and direction are precisely measured, and atmospheric conditions are meticulously monitored, providing the crew with an early warning of approaching storms and treacherous swells. This constant flow of data, analyzed by powerful onboard computers, allows the captain to make informed decisions, plotting a course that avoids the fury of rogue waves and steers clear of underwater hazards. But the ocean's wrath is not always a matter of brute force. Weather patterns can shift subtly, creating hidden dangers like rip currents or sudden visibility drops. The Canadian Navy's smart ships anticipate these subtle shifts. Advanced weather models, integrated with real-time data from the ship's sensors, paint a dynamic picture of the ever-changing environment. This allows the crew to anticipate sudden squalls and adjust course proactively, maintaining operational effectiveness even in unpredictable conditions. Beyond monitoring and anticipation, Automation frees the crew from repetitive tasks, allowing them to focus on the critical decisions. Systems can handle routine engine checks, adjust ballast levels for optimal stability, and even deploy and retrieve onboard drones for reconnaissance. This not only reduces fatigue and improves crew efficiency, but also provides invaluable data for operational planning and threat assessment. Canadian warships are built with resilience in mind. Some vessels boast self-writing mechanisms, complex systems that can counteract the forces of capsizing and bring the ship back to an upright position, protecting the crew and ensuring the vessel's survival. But remember that the integration of advanced monitoring and automation doesn't replace the vital role of the human crew. Instead, it acts as a trusted advisor, an ever-watchful guardian whispering warnings and offering insights. Together, they form a formidable partnership, steering through the treacherous waters and ensuring the Canadian Navy's continued role as a protector of its vast coastline 
and beyond. The unwavering skill of the Canadian Navy crew. In the tempestuous embrace of the open ocean, where churning waves rise like leviathons and the wind howls its mournful song, a ship's fate hinges not on steel and iron, but on the hearts and minds of its crew. This is where the Canadian Navy truly shines, its strength anchored not in the might of its vessels, but in the unwavering skill and tenacity of its people. For them, the unforgiving sea is not merely a hostile environment, but a crucible where expertise is forged in fire and brine. The Canadian Navy crew is a finely tuned orchestra, each member a master of their instrument, from the captain orchestrating the ship's dance with the waves, to the engineer coaxing life from the whirring heart of the vessel, each individual plays a vital role in the complex web of maritime navigation. Years of rigorous training have honed their instincts, allowing them to anticipate the ocean's fury and react with pinpoint precision. Their movements are synchronized, swift and decisive, a tribute to countless hours spent drilling for every conceivable emergency. Masters of the Tempest Whether battling the mountainous waves of the North Atlantic or navigating the icy labyrinth of the Arctic, the Canadian Navy possesses an intimate understanding of the sea's volatile moods. They respect its power, but never fear it. Through countless hours spent weathering storms and bravering treacherous currents, they have earned the hard-won knowledge of reading the waves, anticipating squalls, and navigating treacherous shoals. This deep-seated understanding becomes their compass in the darkest nights, their shield against the ocean's unpredictable wrath. Yet no matter how meticulous the planning, the sea always holds surprises. The Canadian Navy crew is not simply a collection of individuals. They are a living, breathing entity, a beacon of hope in the midst of the ocean's fury. Their expertise, forged in the fires of relentless training and tempered by the icy hand of experience, makes them guardians, stewards, and warriors of the unforgiving sea. Their unwavering skill, their unyielding courage, and their commitment to one another are the true engines that power the Canadian Navy, and the world must never forget that. The most popular ships in the Canadian Navy. The expanse of Canadian waters, stretching from the icy Arctic to the rugged Atlantic and Pacific coasts, demands a diverse and dedicated fleet to patrol and protect. Enter the Royal Canadian Navy, a force of modern, high-tech vessels safeguarding the nation's maritime interests and contributing to global security. Among these guardians of the North, several classes of ships stand out for their capabilities, versatility, and historical significance. HMCS Halifax-class frigates. These multi-role workhorses form the backbone of the RCM and are aptly nicknamed City Destroyers for their potent firepower. Imagine a sleek, grey warship bristling with an arsenal of guns, missiles, torpedoes, and sonar systems. That's a Halifax-class frigate, ready to take on anti-submarine warfare, surface and air defense, and intelligence gathering with equal aplomb. Their adaptability and impressive weaponry make them the go-to ships for a wide range of missions, from patrolling open ocean to supporting NATO operations. HMCS Harry DeWolf-class offshore patrol vessels. Venturing into the unforgiving Arctic demands a different kind of ship. Picture a vessel built for endurance, with an ice-strengthened hull that can crack through frozen seas like a determined explorer. Meet the HMCS Harry DeWolf-class offshore patrol vessel. These Sentinels of the North are equipped with advanced surveillance systems and powerful engines, allowing them to navigate the treacherous Arctic landscape with ease. They carry light weaponry for self-defense and law enforcement, ensuring the safety of Canadian interests in this crucial region. HMCS Victoria-class submarines for silent missions beneath the waves. The RCN relies on the HMCS Victoria-class submarines. These stealthy vessels are the RCN's eyes and ears underwater, equipped with torpedoes and advanced sensors for covert operations and intelligence collection. From gathering crucial data on enemy movements to discreetly deploying special forces, 
These submarines provide the RCN with an invaluable asset for clandestine missions. So, now that we've clarified everything that makes the Canadian Navy ships so very special and strong, would you dare to take a chance and go on a mission or two? And what do you think of the strength of the Canadian Navy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below this video. Remember, these ships aren't just floating fortresses. They're symbols of Canadian ingenuity, grit, and a healthy respect for the ocean's power. They guard the Canadian coasts, carry out vital missions, and remind us that even in the face of nature's fury, human spirit can prevail. So next time you raise a glass to Canada, raise it a little higher for the Canadian Navy. These ships and their brave crews keep their people safe, explore the unknown, and push the boundaries of what's possible on the high seas. Did you learn more about the Canadian Navy and find this video informative? Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.